So this is the Comanche. And this would be equivalent to the low line. So it's available as high line or low line. I think the high line has an overcab bed. So this is displayed is 85,000, 177 brake horsepower engine, automatic with a media pack and upgrade. And you've got your auto trail umbrella as you go in, window on the door, twin axle. You can see that behind there. Yeah. Avoiding the sun lounges. I wouldn't say it's a tall garage, but it's okay. Obviously goes the width of the van. Toilet cassette there. I think that's your barbecue point, isn't it? Yeah. Gas locker on this side. Another locker there. Let's have a look inside. Feature of this is this massive sofa, absolutely massive. That must be a six foot sofa, automatic. And a lot of these auto trails have all these cupboards all the way around, lots and lots of cupboards. So if you're full timing or something along that lines, then you won't want for space in those cupboards. locker there. Not sure where your TV goes at the moment. Oh of course it's, it's there. How could you miss it? Right at the front. Great big panoramic window there. Lots of work work surface here. A big chopping board and drainer. So you've got built-in draining, so it feels like it feels solid. It was like stone, full-size cooker and grill, electric hot plate. Oops, microwave. Plenty of space for your cups, plates, bowls centre bathroom so if you're going to get in and there's your shower really good shower hanging rail it looks like there's a extractor fan there it's quite a good size it's an unusual shape but it's a good size Opposite is your toilet and sink, more cupboard space, racks in it, sunroof, towel rail, hanging rail, radiator in there, like a padded surround. To the window, like a padded cell. No, I didn't say that. TV point, and it's not too bad getting around the side of the bed. I often find with these vans it's quite difficult to get around them, but yeah, you've got a good size hanging space in there. More lockers. smallish sunroof but that's okay yeah very nice sort of made up cup, um, cutlery drawer table in there. It's a freestanding table so we can use it outdoors. I think yeah 
it's just a drawer underneath it looks like it's part of the fridge but it's not but no the show is about to open so I probably won't be able to get in many more vans for now but uh, this is very good let's have a look under the bed Right, so this is the Chawson Welcome Travel Line. An interesting van, travel line. 55,000 basic price, 56 as shown here. But what's different about this is you've got two entrance doors. And if you go inside, you've got four seats and you've got four really comfortable seats so if you're taking any passengers with you they'll really enjoy sitting in those seats that's why this is so different it's quite an open layout because you haven't got big sofas or anything in the way nice square finished taps they're um, very posh. Electric hot plate, two burner hob. Slimline fridge. Obviously with a layout like this, you've got a drop down bed. So the drop down bed comes down in the middle. My only worry would be how do you get out the door? I suppose if it doesn't come when it comes down that far, I suppose you could get out the door. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I like the I like the comfy seats. Especially if you need you do need to take people with you a lot. Right, shower. Duckboard. Toilet. So Slidey door to close it off. Lone air heating, and it's got a shower compartment door that goes all the way around there. So that is the shower, isn't it? So that comes out. So they borrowed a few ideas from camper vans there. And you've got a really nice U-shaped lounge, so you don't have to sit in the travel seats. You could sit in here. Don't, honestly, don't know if this makes up into a bed. I suppose it might do. But you've got another drop-down bed in here. So you've got drop-down bed at the front and a drop-down bed at the back. Like a um, shelving area there. Might seem like a bit of a waste of space, I think. But USB points lockers Ow. don't bump into the table big lockers yeah very nice TV points there it's a very interesting layout <laughs> So obviously got two fly screens on that side and on that side. Occasional table down there with a little pole. And you've got a curtain for a bit of privacy when the drop down beds are deployed. On a Fiat. And which way to go? Ah, let's go this way. Yeah, so that's good. Chawson Travel Line 711. Right, so it's 53,730. Some people coming in there. Obviously, you can get to the uh, garage from here as well, that's unusual. Good. If you get bored being in the bathroom, I suppose you can just go in there.
lots of mirrors in here. Hello there. And good size shower. Oh, nice right. square shower head there. These convert into travel seats. I'm not going to do it, but and you've got a lengthwise drop-down bed here. Lengthwise? I think so. Yeah, so it's got diesel heating in here. Well, that's so. I'm looking for that. Very nice chrome finish. TV. <laughs> See if you can figure it out. <laughs> Come up, like it goes over there. Oh, is that lever? Twist that lever. Twist the lever. That's, yeah. oh, that's it, and then it comes up. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Got to keep a hold of it. That's it. Right, and then you put the cushion. Cushion back. Cushion back in there. All right. Okay. There's a few vans I've seen like this now, but not a bad idea. But you do lose the storage, of course. Yeah. 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 That's a brochure. I'll sit on it then. There you go. <laughs> Are you still recording, Bob? Are you still recording? I am now. Look at the bomb, photo bomb, Bob's video. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a travel seat. It's one of two people in here now, so it's a. Uh... Yep, we've come all the way just to see this one. So. Yeah, oh, well, a few people have asked me to have a look at this, so yeah. yeah. USB's up the top there. The little cubby holes there, it's quite nice. Uh, that's all your heater things under there, isn't it? So you've got your Truma unit. Always takes up a lot of space, the Truma unit. But that doesn't look too bad, is that? It's a com compact one. Yeah, it's just a boiler, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's okay, at least you can get to everything. Yeah. The fold up table, which means that you can get half a dozen people in here. Lots of lighting. Yeah, yeah. I like that bathroom. Oh, the travel seat's surprisingly comfortable. Yeah, no, it's okay. <laughs> There's obviously a Ford and it's automatic. So, like I say, there's a lot of people getting in and out now, so it's getting difficult to, to see some vans now. But that's the Chawson 640, 170 brake horsepower automatic on a Ford, and that's for David Hurst. He wanted me to look at that, so David, that's the Chawson. I might pop back tomorrow and see if I can have another quick look when it's a bit quieter and haven't got a load of people in it. So this is, we're on the Adria stand, so this is the Adria Coral Plus 670DL, so the twin beds, 3,500, payload is 437, and this one is 67665. Let's have a step back a little bit. This is the thing about this one is, big garage. A lot of these Continental vans have this big garage. Right, so very nice mini twin sofa here but I think 
again I think these are I'm not sure well, it might be travel seats I'm not sure they are yes they are there's a travel seat there I don't know how the other one oh so this is a three three berth one so you've got your travel seat there okay so this one is without a drop down bed dinky little lockers I think that keeps the height down but you've got this massive sunroof fold-up table kitchen unit here combi oven in this one I'll figure out how to get in the Free, the fridge freezer. Yeah, there's a handle there somewhere. All in black. Slimline fridge freezer. It's a Thetford. So centre shower unit. Big skylight. And obviously the wheel arch is there. It does mean you've got somewhere to put things. On the other side. On the other side you've got the toilet, sink unit, Whoops. doors just shut on me, cupboards, and we've got these catches underneath, access to the garage up from underneath here. It's like three steps up, three steps up onto the bed. That's quite nice, quite nice in here. You've got um, reading lights there, padded headboard, USB points underneath, just about see them. TV points over there. And close off the bedroom. You've got hanging space here. Right. Yeah, let's go and have a look at the Supreme. So, this is the Adria Matrix Supreme. The difference with the Matrix is you've got a drop down bed. This, being a DC, is a, a center, uh, an island bed. And this one is 69,995. Payload is 451. So, but you've got the, the massive garage again. This has a bed that goes up and down at the back. So I'm going to start at the back. I'll look at the back. So you've got a bed that folds up during the day. So you can use it as a chalon. You've got these little lockers at the back, trying not to knock over the pot there. But yeah, there's quite a lot of room to get round. Sliding door. Shuts the area off. See a TV point in here, that's one spinning round. Unusual little locker there. But yeah, this bed rises up and down to give you more space in the garage or less space in the garage, I guess. Working back now, shower. Of recessed in there, which is strange. So there's plenty of places to put your soap and suds and things. It's got a radiator built in, hanging rail. Okay. Quite a nice bathroom. space underneath travel seats here or a travel seat here so it's three berths 
drop down bed above. Very nice looking leather seats. Very plush. A lot of them seem to be going for this folding table idea now. It does give you an awful lot more space to get past rather than a big circular table. Tiny little lockers though. Little cubby holes for Zoom, they've got charging points there somewhere. No, they're just little cubby holes. I thought we might have a USB in there somewhere. Yeah, so slimline fridge. Now you've got a lot of controls up here, so you've got the control for the bed. There. Oh, touch screen. All your bits and pieces. Audi heat in there. And the telly comes out of there. Alright, that's different. I was looking to see where it was. I guess you can slide it out so you can view it from in there as well. Because it's on a turntable. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, switches the pump on. Comes up with a message saying, don't press this button again. Bed takes a maximum of 200 kilograms. This one's automatic, with leather steering wheel, reversing camera. I guess what is, must be sat nav built in. Always amuses me when they put wing mirror, uh, rear view mirrors in there. And the sunroof up there. Very nice. Right, so um, Vantage Motorhomes, and this is the Vantage Neo. And this was asked for by the Frenchies. Let's have a look. See much of the van. It's obviously on a Ducato. Nice champagne colour. Very nice seats. Sort of leather and upholstered. What have you got here? We've got a full cupboard. Plenty of food in there. Compressor fridge. Cupboards feel well built. Mirror on the side there. Electrics in there. Flap. Extra cooking. Three, three burner gas hob and a combi oven. Lots of workspace. Yeah. I like the pop up, pop up electrics. Cover for the sink. Quite a deep sink. Things like a uh, little rack. That's nice. Nice touches. Yeah, the, I always think with these fancies that the cupboards feel very nice. They're very solid feeling. Right. Very nice rear lounge. There, let's just have a look at the washroom. Oh, yeah. That's quite a good size of washroom. Yeah. Roof light. Good corner sink. And plenty of sp space to stand built-in bench type set for toilet towel rail S must be the shower yeah that's a shower it's clips up there hanging rail hanging rail that's nice very good TV in here Truma blown air heating Quite um, firm feeling sofas, but it is a very nice little lounge here. No, it's not a little lounge, it's quite a good size lounge. Lots of spaces to view out of. This obviously makes up into the bed. I think these slats pull out. 
Yeah, well that's nice and simple. Very nice. And you just pull the cushions together. So you could leave the bed made up and just sit up the front. Oh, nice little drawers in here. Oh look at that, that is nice. Proper woodwork feel about it. A little flap for your breakfast. I like this a lot. A little padding there. Places for your knickknacks, books, etc. Yeah, I can see why you wanted to look at this. got more workspace than we've got in our Bolero. A little, little step up into the cab seats. A little bin bag there, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so it's 6.36 meters long just over 20 feet 21 feet two single beds or one super king size there's three burner hob under oven storage washroom under slung gas 90 liter fresh water 70 liter waste solar panel electric step USBs. And it's got a, a boot on it. That's quite nice. Waste water and fresh water emptying points. Toilet cassette. Water points. There's your gas point. Alloy wheels. 130 brake horsepower engine. But yeah. Quite a handsome van that is. Well something different that caught my eye, just on the way out, is the Trip Buddy that's just launched at the show. This is the Trip Buddy Anyone. It's bespoke design, aerodynamic, and its mass in running order is 650 kilograms, so it can be towed by virtually any small car, I guess. But this is the pre production prototype, so I can't, unfortunately can't have a look in it. But uh, it's got a door at the back, 60 40 door. You can open so you don't have to open it all the way. So yeah, there's a composite structure. Yeah, could almost tow it with our VW up, almost. So this is the other one in their range, and the massive running order of this is 1150. It's actually double, double axle. It's different, isn't it? Three burner hole, sink, sofa in front. Presuming there's the bed at the front yeah. that makes up into the bed. Yeah. So the table drops down, there's a couple of supports that go in, yeah. and that becomes double beds. So you've got six foot two across the width of the van. Yeah. And then you've got additional beds that go into the pup tent. And those, okay. they zip on here. We haven't got them up because it takes up too much space. Yeah. So there are two tents that go one each side. All right. They're designed, they've got liners. So they, they go they, that that side. Yep. And, and that side. That side, yep. Yeah. And then you get in and out through the back here. Right. So you've still got a sort of... Um, An area here. A sort of grubby area, as I like to call yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, But well, there's a fitted ground sheet that goes in. Yeah. This gives you a third more, okay? So yeah, yeah. If, if you're just doing a quick overnight, yeah. I would, you know... and when, You wouldn't bother with the awning. Because I use no. this one. This is actually my one. Yeah. So we just stop, kick, open the back open yeah. the back up. Yeah. This tent just deploys straight out. Yeah. Put the ground sheet in, go for walks, and dirty then, wellies. And then your wellies here. off it in here, yeah, yeah. And then you're in... 
Yeah. Because then you just need a step at the bottom there, do you? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. We just put this plank of wood in just to give it a bit of a Yeah, sure. So basically, it, the whole thing is a wet room. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. So there's no wood in the construction at all. No. But no. the floor is at a slightly different angle to the bed. Yeah. So if you if you've set it up wrong, your water will go that way. Yeah. But it won't because all the water goes down go to the drain. So that drain there. And then we've either got uh, you can have a great waste yeah. or it just goes to a to a normal okay normal outlet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Is that that's not fixed, is it? That's is that fixed? That's fixed. Oh that's no, fixed. I'm in the toilet. Oh, the toilet. No, that that's that's yeah, yeah. comes out. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. You haven't the, the toilet will survive yeah. being uh, chowed on. It's it's not the yeah, yeah. No, no, just take the toilet bowl out. Yeah, no, I just thought thought it's come off the wall. It hasn't. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and you got an air conditioned unit. This one's got air conditioning. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm not leaving home for less than I've got in my bedroom. So no, uh, no. no so this one's got full air conditioning. Yeah. Wow. So look, you've, you've got a two kilowatt air conditioner. Yeah. Um, and you've got and then you got normal three, three burner hob three burner hob but I also do an oven version if you want yeah. oven so but you can have an you oven basically oven lose you basically lose that cupboard yeah and yeah. I haven't got it for the show because no. just out of complications what we had in the um what we had in the showroom yeah but I've got the tall Thetford fridge option on this as well so right. we've, got okay. the, we've got the full so you could fridge. have a full height fridge absolutely right wow yeah. Yeah. wow yeah and you've got a, a touch screen so it's radio and what well. I describe as infotainment so yeah. that is it and th we throw all this in so that's a television it's a free view TV yeah um, it plays all known media yeah and yeah. then the normal sergeant yeah. system sergeant electronics unit. and everything yeah. else is and, and trimmer blow yeah yeah, yeah. I like to, yeah. So yeah. that's it. So yeah. All right. No, it's really nice. So you've got storage in there. And it's uh, yeah. I mean, you can have hanging or yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all, just unfortunate. All cupboards, all arcly, all yeah, arcly. Nice. Right. And you've got massive storage under, yeah. under here as well. Yeah. So we've got electrics to sit right there and battery, and yeah. then the rest is, and the trim under heater there. is there. Yeah. The rest is a storage. Wow. Right. Justin Leanne asked me to look at the Ariba Touring 820. Now in the UK, it's not legal actually in this country. I didn't realise it was eight metres long. So Justin, I suppose it's a suspect you're from the US. What we get in this country from Ariba are things like this. So this is the Ariba Touring. And it's a little bit smaller than I think you imagine. Let's have a little look. So what have we got? We've got a little sofa at the front. It's a pop-up roof. So all, all of the, the bit above this bit here is all pop-up roof. You got little lockers here. I mean it's fully equipped, it's got fly screens. Little shelf, pull-out shelf here. Nice sink, two burner hob. Oop. Hasn't got an oven, but it has got a fairly big fridge. Fair size fridge. It's got a Truma gas fire heating system. Cupboards. And a washroom, wet room really. Very nice. It's very nicely made. A bench toilet. Got cupboards underneath. Got hanging parts for your um, thing. But yeah, so it's probably not what you were expecting. 